Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5770 1GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with this video card is software and drivers, an installation guide, case badge, Dirt 2 game coupon, a 6-pin power adapter, crossfire bridge, as well as a DVI to VGA adapter. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the RV850 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 1.04 billion transistors. Now this video card does not come with a stock blower style cooler, rather a standard cooler where you've got a fan at the top that blows cool air over many fins dissipating the heat. Now this particular cooler does not come in contact with the memory, only the GPU. There are three video connections, one DVI, one DisplayPort, and one HDMI connection which fully supports 7.1 channel audio. Also at the top is the Crossfire Bridge connector and this video card requires only one 6 pin power connection. The power consumption is 108 watts at maximum load and 18 watts at idle. Now this is not a lot of wattage but still a quality power supply that can handle the load is very crucial especially in a multiple video card Crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 850 megahertz and the 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 128 bit memory is 4.8 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 800 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 40 texture units and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 13.6 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 34 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 76.8 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi-GPU technology allows dual, triple and quad GPU scaling and power play power management technology which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has iFinity technology which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600 which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, a Vivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. Now let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. Remember the video card driver sets the fan speed automatically but it can be set manually.
Now this is certainly not the fastest video card on the planet, and it's not meant to be. This is a budget video card that performs extremely well and is very affordable. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.